Moroso. Tommy oh, Moroso. Oh, a terrible Very flash. hard hit. Robbie Moroso going into the outside turn two wall. And another car hard. is spinning. Oh, oh and serious Max contact. Prestwood. The number 41 Max Prestwood went into the Robbie Moroso car that had already hit the wall hard coming out of turn number two. Yeah, Robbie was battling with that group of cars that uh, we were referring to earlier, and he went into the outside turn two wall at about a 45 degree angle, the and car. then as the car was spinning down the back stretch, uh, Max Prestwood drilled him on the left side. Well, the car actually became airborne as it hit that wall, the front end going way up in the air, and it appeared it for a moment there that the car was going to flip on over, but it did not. It slid down to the middle of the racetrack and then was broadsided by the 41 car of Max Presswood. Both of those cars now are to the inside of the racetrack in turn three. Let's go to Jerry Punch. Young Robbie, Robbie Moroso still sitting in the car. Safety crews there immediately on the scene as the NASCAR official ran across pit road. They have already gone inside the car and are attending to Robbie Moroso. Also, Max Presswood's car involved, sitting some 15 or 20 feet up toward turn three. He's the car that came across and ricocheted off Moroso. Presswood, a former late model stock car driving ace from nearby Hickory, North Carolina. So three cars involved. Brad Teague's car sitting there. The ambulances and safety crews are on the scene. We'll take a replay of it and see what happened. Uh, Moroso and Brad Teague were battling literally side by side. Brad went to the inside coming off the second corner. There is a significant bump right there on the speedway. And as you can see, Robbie going in at almost better than a 45 degree angle. Morgan Shepard sneaking through. The veteran Jack Ingram looking for a home. Uh, Mike Ottinger. slows down. L.G. Ottinger goes through. And then here comes the Prestwood car and slams uh, Robbie Moroso right in the driver's compartment. Yeah, Mike Alexander was the uh, black car that was sneaking through. Here is from a ground level. You can see Robbie's car going way up in the air as, after he hits the wall. Everybody is scrambling now, hard on the brakes. Robbie's car is spinning down. There goes the yellow car out and here through. Alexander goes through. You can see Presswood is spinning out of control and slams right into the driver's side there as we go down the back stretch here of this half mile racetrack. I was about to say, and there is Robbie oh, Moroso. Great. Wow. <laughs> oh. Well, he survived quite a ride, but he is walking to the ambulance, and that is terrific news. The number 41 car of Max Presswood slamming into him, but look at the excellent driving displayed by many of the drivers getting through small holes and uh, yeah, Dale, managing to get through without and any there's major Max. damage. Dale Jarrett was another one of those drivers who went through there, and, and Bob, I'll tell you, we see an awful lot of racing action, and the way the Moroso car held up has to be one of the most impressive performances we have seen this year. Uh, I am very surprised and extremely pleased to see Moroso walking around. It's we have quite seen both Prestwood and Moroso out of their cars walking to the ambulance. Obviously, no serious injury. Back in a moment. We are still under yellow at the Budweiser 200 at Bristol, Tennessee. There are your top five.